Okay, so we are going to do some embroidery on this pocket. Uh, embroidery, we're going to use these sewing machines for our embroidery. And these are the parts that you need. So you need your fabric, and then the fabric needs to be bigger than your frame. This is the frame you're going to place your fabric in to do your embroidery. This is the attachment piece that attaches onto our sewing machine to do embroidery. So we have to pull this section off and then slide this piece on and it'll clip in. You do actually need to turn the machine off and turn it back on, okay? And it will detect that the sewing machine has the um, embroidery section on it. Um, and you need to hit the screen. It'll tell you the carriage is gonna move and then it will come up with this screen here that is your touch screen to do your embroidery. When you are doing embroidery, you need your piece of fabric that is bigger than your frame. You also need this, it's called tear away um, backing and we're going to iron that. So it's got two sides. One side is a little bit rough and you can feel it. And the other side is a bit soft, okay? And you're gonna put that on there and we're gonna iron it flat, okay? And that actually will, once you've embroidered, you just rip that off, but it's to give a little bit more support and stability. Uh, it also stops the thread from pulling through the fabric as it stitches. So these are our cottons and they are really special, okay? They're a thousand meters each and you actually put them on the machine like this, okay? So you actually take the little cap off you thread your fabric through, um, your cotton through. So you take it off. I'm going to use pink. I'm just going to write my name. And you're going to thread that bit through there. So you take it off, thread that through. So it comes out the bottom like that. And just put the cap back on. And then you're going to take it over and pop it onto the sewing machine. You need to make sure, can you see it's got caught by the, the um, the cap so just take the cap off pull it through so it's not caught anymore and then just go ahead and thread your machine as normal now I've gone ahead and I have threaded the machine as per normal can you see we haven't put the cap on the top here because this is heavy enough to stay in place as the machine works okay so we don't need the cap so that is off okay and I have to change my bobbin because we don't use a coloured bobbin when we're doing embroidery. We use these bobbins. So these have got the same lovely uh, rayon thread as the uh, as these canisters up here. And they just go in exactly the same way that you would have done it. And we're going to just, oops, put that in upside down. Where is it? There it is. That's the way it's meant to go going to come around here like that it's really hard with one hand round it goes and cut okay and that will just pull through so we don't need this cap we can put that back in this container over here so we're going to put it back in there okay I'll do that in just a minute and we are going to go and iron this on ready to go but the machine's ready I just need to iron this on this is our pocket okay I have my tear away fabric on the back I'm going to just turn it over because if you iron directly onto this fabric it's usually well, it'll might melt a little bit so I'm just going to iron it like this okay okay and that should have it nicely stuck so now it's stuck on the back okay and we're going to go back to the sewing machine and get it these frames come in two parts. This part goes inside here like this. So what we have to do is this piece goes under your fabric and you need to make sure that you have the center of your fabric. So what you can do is fold this over. You could also do it at the ironing board uh, and iron it so that you know the center. But I'm just gonna do what we call finger ironing. I'm just gonna run this because I don't really want a strong um, line in my fabric. I'm just going to make sure that's perfectly lined up and I'm just going to do a bit of a finger iron so I can find the very center of my fabric. And I'm going to go this way and I'm going to do the same thing. So just do a bit of a finger iron. 
so I can get a center. Okay, so can you see that I can now see where the center of the fabric is? I want to put this up a little higher because I'm gonna turn this down and, and make a cuff at the top. So I want it about there. Can you see there's my frame underneath? And I've just got the top of it, but I've got more at the top here than I have at the bottom, okay? So I've just got it just over the bolt at that bottom end. And I'm gonna turn this around so the little arrow's pointing down. And you wanna line it up so that these lines match. Okay, so when we push it down, that line should be right in the center. I'll show you when I've got it done. Okay, so you see I've got my center line lining up with my arrow, okay? If you want it exactly center, you would have this bit down a bit, but I don't want it exactly center. So I'm gonna put my name about here. I'm just gonna do a great big, some great big initials. I'm just gonna write MK on here. Um, and I'm using my pink thread. My machine's all threaded and we're just gonna go, uh, and we're gonna change over this foot before we start in doing our embroidery. Okay. This is the foot we use. So this is the foot. That is the way it goes on, okay? Uh, we have to take this foot off. So I'm just gonna get this little screwdriver and undo the bolt on this side, let it drop off. Oops. I'm just gonna unscrew it all the way. Come in there. I'm gonna lift this up a bit higher and that means I can take that foot out. Now we're gonna put this foot on. There is a little button on the back here, see that? push that in, you're going to push that in and then hook it on. I am going to help you do this anytime anyone does it. Uh, and then you just have to tighten it up. Now I need to use two hands to tighten that up. So I will do that and I'll show you when I'm done. Now it is on and I need to put my frame up here. So can you see these two little bolts? They need to go into these two sections here. So we're going to lift up the foot nice and high. Just tuck the fabric under, lift up the foot push it under and then I'm going to clip this down in there like that and that is ready to go that is sorted you are ready to sew with that this is our screen and this is where we go to find all the bits and pieces so if you wanted to do a pretty picture you could go here and we use these arrows to move between the screens so can you see there's four screens up here, so as you move, it the number changes. If you wanna go back to the start screen, you go back here. Now I'm gonna do two nice big, um, or maybe just one nice big initial on the front. So I'm just gonna put an M. So I just have to use this big M. So this is gonna take a couple of colors, I think, uh, and I'm gonna move it. So I'm gonna go back a second. Ah, no, cancel. Back. So we're going to move this. I want to move it down a bit to the bottom of my area because I don't want it too high on my pocket. Okay. I'm going to hit OK. You can do things like make it bigger. But that's probably big enough. And you can also rotate it so you can move it. So you can like, put it on an angle. I don't want that, so I'm gonna take it back. There it is, okay. And edit. Okay, so that just moved this to the correct position. And I'm gonna hit embroidery. Okay. Okay, and I need two colors. The first color is gonna be the big M, and then I'll need a lighter color, which I'll have to change over when it starts. I'm gonna put the foot down, and I'm gonna hit this button, and it's gonna start. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. What just happened? Why did that come off? All right, so the foot is on and we're gonna lower it down and this button here goes green. So originally the button, so when it's up, the button is red. When it goes down, button is green. And when you press the button, it will start to embroider. first just do a big outline and then it will fill it in now it's filling
filling it in and it'll go through and fill it in. And it'll go all the way. And can you see this little X here? That will show you the path that it is going to take to do your embroidery. And when it's finished, it will stop and you'll have to change the colour of the thread to the second colour. You can choose to do something that only needs one colour, but every time you change, you'll need a second colour. It has finished the first round and now it's going to go into this background colour here. So I have to change the cotton over. So I will do that and then I will show you as it starts. So we're just going to pull that one, pull that one out, take the lid off this one. This is a nice new cotton and I will get it on and I'll... So I've changed it over to my green. Okay, so the green cotton is in the top here and we're ready to go. Just make sure you lower your um, needle and it's gonna do this background color. And we just hit go. There's a locking stitch. And then also, this is as it's finishing it off. So it's just, it does little threads in between the two, in between the different patterns. So you can raise the foot and then you just need to cut so that's being cut for me by the machine and you can just clip this out so you're going to push that button in here push that in and lift up and that's going to come out lift your foot up and pull it out and there you have it so can you see these little extra threads those have got to go so you've got to trim those off so that they're not ruining your pattern. So you're just going to snip, 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 snip. There's one more there. Snip. Okay, just get rid of that. So there you go. That's the completed pattern, and you're just going to pop that out. Just pull out the frame, and there it is. And now I can go ahead and do the top of the pocket and sew it on. I've made my pocket and I have done the fold over and I've sewn the toy. I've sewn this one the same as you do for apron A because this one doesn't have a cuff on the top of it. Okay, so it's a little bit different. And I've put a line down the center so I know where the exact center is. And I'm going to place it just a little bit above my bottom pockets. There is a band that's meant to go across the middle of here. So we want to be able to leave space for that. So I'm gonna pop the pocket there. So make sure that once again, you have an even amount on each side of your apron. You don't want it too far over this way, it'll look weird. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you are in the center. Okay, and I have it four inches above my bottom pocket. Now this is an example of why it's really important to make sure that your pin is facing towards you. Can you see how hard it is for me to get that pin out of there if it's facing away? I actually have to lift up my fabric, my, my thing to pull that pin out, my, my foot. So make sure that when you put your pins in, they're always facing with the heads towards you. Okay, so there is my final product for my embroidery. It's really quite pretty. Uh, and you can choose pretty much any design. I would like you to choose ones that don't have too many different changes of thread though. Two or three colors is best.